Victory! The Stag Lord's dead, and the capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging Taming of the Stolen Lands began. Kesten Caress. Welcome, Your Grace. Let me once again congratulate you on your victory and your new title. Lady Chamandi transferred me here. I am at your disposal. I am not one to bestow honors, but I want you to know I am glad to serve you. Thank you, Kesten. I am happy to have you here. I am here to welcome you on behalf of your new capital citizens. The Stacklow's former stronghold will soon be a thriving city. World, world travels fast and the first settlers have already arrived with new ones approaching as we speak. Good news! While you were visiting Restov, much has been done here. Your benefactors, the Aldori, invested a great deal of resources in rebuilding the city. I stand ready to answer your questions and to show you around the most important sites. Yes, I can see that you have been busy. <laughs> the main question is, where can I get a drink or tree? It's time to toast my victory. I'll make sure to show you the moment we enter the city. The tavern was the first business that opened, naturally. Building a city is a thirsty work. And, um, I beg your forgiveness for my behavior during your reception. I drank a little too much. It is a day for celebration. It was Kesten. Don't worry about that at all. Where are my companions? They are all somewhere around here, but I never kept an eye on who went where exactly. Well, I assume Christian is with your heart, and you can always find Lindsay. Just follow the noise and turmoil. Yep, that's Lindsay. Are there any citizens I should know about? Our old acquaintance Jihot is right here. The Rustel's clerics normally don't like cities much, but he's eager to serve you. Also, the emissary from Brevoy is here, waiting for you in the throne room. I have a throne room. There's also this curious matter. An elf has paid us a visit. A blind elf. Desna only knows how he managed to get here. He seems peaceful, even a pleasant fellow, though naturally a little odd, so I let him stay a while. It's up to you to decide what to do with him now. That's about it, I guess. What's the mood of the people here? I must admit, I've never seen anything like that my whole life. A city, a whole barony, born right in front of our eyes. The people sense the moment and the day we're feeling proud. As a rule, I am not too cheerful or chatty. I'd normally feel out of place among all the rejoicing, but the day is just one of those days. I am ready to look around the city. Lead the way, my man. Lead the way. Follow me, your grace. And here we have locals. With this, your grace, we are well your new subjects. We're selecting site to build our house. Should be plenty of space around here, I hope. It's wet near the lake and windy up here on the hill. A fine place to throw garbage at your neighbors. Let's do Ouch! <laughs> oh, okay. Are you guys going to throw garbage down? It's a good thing you got rid of those monsters and bandits, your grace. Well, it was my pleasure. And I believe it's going to be my duty. A few more times. Oh, this is where the walls were. I hope you put it all into good use and didn't just drag it somewhere to rot. Yeah, they did. It's <clears throat> very driving looking. It's brand new. The heart of every town in its main square. We plan to hold street festivities and fairs here. Look, we already have our first vendor. Hello, and very nice to meet you. You are going to have a lot of business. 
Greetings here, Grace. He says, You'll end up straight in our tavern if you turn to the right from the square. Good to know. That is where you find me. <coughs> in late hours of the night. The tavern's ale is placed by Jaden Kalen himself, I swear, and the lady who owns it is a gem. I've heard a baron is a tall as a troll, has hair of pure gold, and can breathe fire. Oh, that's all nonsense. Well, except the part about breathing fire. All barons can breathe fire, trust me. Right. Welcome, Your Grace. Glad to serve you. This is how the rumors start. Okay. I can't actually breathe fire at least yet. But I can make few very nasty farts. He has the observation platform. Oh, that is a view. That is an interesting view. So those are farms down there, right? What we need there is a wall. Yes, observation deck is a nice idea, but we really, really need a wall. Ah, my residence. Ah, uh, my residence. My residence. This is a bit more than a fireplace and you guys have been really busy. I believe that you may just might have helped you to build all this. Wow. Yes then. So now we've reached the main chambers. This is the throne room, where you hold court and receive visitors. Let me draw your attention to this large map, depicting your barony and its surroundings. We'll mark all the important scout reports and other newsworthy of your grace's attention. Practical. Cassil Aldori, greetings your grace. It was a pleasure to meet you at the rest of reception. On behalf of your allies and benefactors, the Aldoris Wardlords, I'd like to offer you some advice. And this would be our current... Oh, situation. Okay. Damn. I believe that I don't have much of the time to sit there, actually. Now we are doing it all. You can solve most of your baroness problems by granting appointments to the right people, responsible people. But certain state business will demand your personal attention, as will the visits of especially important quests. Reports of such outstanding events will be marked on your map. You can always check it while considering your plans. Good. According to the ancient traditions of Brevoy and most of the river kingdoms, rulers address affairs of state and receive visitors at the beginning of the month. My advice to you is to maintain this tradition and regularly visit your capital when needed. The first thing you should do as a ruler is assign loyal people to all the important positions in your barony. Your clerics Jihad and Tristian were the first to seek an audience. I won't distract you further and I'll leave you to consider. And I leave you to consider. Once again, my congratulations. May your rule be long and prosperous. Fine. Your Grace. Allow me to congratulate you on receiving the title of Baron. I am confident that you will be able to bring order to these troubled lands. Well, thank you, Chihot. Though, to be honest, that isn't exactly what we wanted to speak to you about. 
Christian and I have been talking a great deal about what happened at the Temple of the Elk. It doesn't all make sense to us yet, but one thing is clear. There's a powerful curse at work. It corrupted the very essence of that sacred place, steeping it with putrescence. Ugh, I am disgusted with whoever could do this. And now there is a new woe. Christian and I believe the curse did not simply disappear, disperse on its own accord. There is a place near the capital rumored by the locals to be cursed. Christian and I visited this dreadful place and we felt the same putrescence at, as at the temple of the elk. But what is this place? Where is it? Christian explains, there is a bald hilltop not far from here, the north of the capital. Its crown is entirely barren of life. The locals believe that rituals glorifying the dark gods were held there, back in ancient times. There is no longer any trace of such rituals, but the air around the hilltop is heavy to the point of stifling. This place is like a rotting wound, closed but not healed. Bald hilltop has been relieved. And this wound will undoubtedly open again. Tristian and I felt something approaching, something ominous. The curse will soon return to plague us once more, I swear by Erastel. Well, I will go there as soon as I am able. I would be happy to accompany you, but I would not expect to see anything new there at present. I agree with Tristian, we have been to this hilltop. It's barren, but filled with a dense atmosphere of unease. Well, what do you suggest? The curse will grow in strength, and we predict it will reach the peak of its strength in about one month. That's when we should visit the bald hilltop and resolve this issue. For now, we can only wait and prepare. We beg your pardon, your grace, for intervening with you getting the grasp of your barony. I'm sure you have even more pressing matters at hand right now. An uh, ancient curse that might come, might come back to plague us. It's, yeah, it's pretty much pressing matter, even if it is month away. Whoa. I tire. I see. Aha, every 20 points in a stat will increase your rank. Good. So this is the name of my barony. And it cannot be changed. We will call this place Eliant. And here would be the settlement. Duskdale, nothing is built yet. Let's see about this. Each building has cost in BP and construction, so this must be building point. Okay. Right. Can I change this name? Hold on. I cannot change this name. Yes, I can. This area is known as Shrike Hills. It has gained its, its name from the Shrike River. It's not visible right now, but left on the map is the Thorn River and the Shrike River is on the right. And we will call this place as a Shrike Hold. It is a fitting name. Right? Right. And let's not enter yet. Great taxes. Problem. 
Oh. I see. We do not have advisors yet. Let's appoint them. Regent. Regent and military, they are the positions where we would want people with lawful alignment. I mean, Octavia could probably be a good regent. I think we can change them. Let's try Valerie now. Yes. Oh. We can expand. Interesting. Let's just fill the rest of this counselor. Oh, Christian is the only counselor available. General. Okay. Uh, chaotic, chaotic. If I understood correctly, you are lawful good. Yeah, let's do it. Treasurer. Ah, no candidates available. High Priest. See... Here is another problem. Which one I want? Jihad? Are uh, you actually... Harim? Favors unusual but effective solutions. That would be good. But Jihad does his best to solve problems without disrupting local traditions. Uh, yeah, you have more bonus here. But... Yeah, this is pretty much... This land is pretty much beholden to Erastal. This has been Stack God's place for a long time. It's only this value here that worries me. Uh, I think we can swap this if we need to. If we can't, we are in trouble. So, region. No. Economy. Hold on. Great taxes. This was a problem. Uh, it needs to be dealt with. Tristian, deal with this. Some elf, yes. It says problem. Some half elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law, which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news spreads quickly through the merchant's guild. Measures should be taken immediately, or the treasury will take a loss. Uh ha, huh. DC Oh DC twenty plus seven. Success chance seventy five. Yes. What's the point? Nope. You do this right. Oh, we are not going to expand before we have built something here. Let's try to build something here. To strike hold. We need those buildings, I believe. Yes, it, was, it will make it easier for us to manage this place. Longhouse. Community plus one, divine culture one. Ooh. Okay. 50, how much? 450 and longhouse. Points. Okay. And uh, then. Plus one stability when a chance to a long house. Mm -hmm. What else? That's. Fine. A shop next to tavern. Meet he a chance to shop. Cool. 
Oh, espionage. But I don't think we can... See, against means like this and that, not corners. So I don't think it's... Yeah, it isn't possible to do that. I think relations in this settlement and we shall favor espionage later on, right? Right. Let's put tavern there. And uh, military plus one and plus one to stability when adjacent to a longhouse. We go there. And uh, what was it? Shop. Plus one economy when agent the tavern. So that would make two. Was there something that benefited from shop? There is plus one economy when adjacent to a shop. So we can't put it. Like, we could put it there, but there's no use. So shop there. Why am I doing this correctly? And uh, Schmidt, he military plus one, plus one economy when next to shop. We are getting a hang of this. And I believe. Oh, those. Did we have wooden wall? Yes. I believe there was some sort of offer. Let's go back. I believe there was some sort of offer. This one. Elsansky Geek, High Priest of Erastil from Resto, has a strong interest in spreading the Stack God's faith across the region. He is eager to build a shrine dedicated to Erastil on your lands, but at his own expense. Accept his offer if you wish to gain a useful ally and place of worship for Erastil. See... Hmm... It doesn't need to be in capital, I see. And it would be... Jihad's business to do. It would take us seven days to get that. Let's enter. But I believe that I want everything built here. I believe there are other settlements we can take and build that there. Right? Right. Where was the... Building for brewing beer, ale and other fine Beverages plus one to loyalty when located in the settlement with a windmill, and plus one to stability when located in the settlement with a tavern. See, I think we can change this later on. I'll put that here, and I place. Uh, we still have yes, windmill there. We'll place here there, and we are running out. Monument. I was seeing that Herbalist House was a chance to a shrine, so shrine would go here. Monument would go. Oh, let's make sure. Where is Herbalist House? Yes, to a shrine. And then Monument, Shrine, Herbalist house. I think that is it for now. That is it for now. We have used all of these and we still have 90 build points to spare. Can we actually buy them? Yes, we can. We can. Oh, we need to get the espionage going on. 
Let's see the rest of the projects. No date. No date. No sense. Let's just make sure that there's nothing. Rank up economy. Training versus other regions claim outskirts. Who would oh Valerie could do it? Ah, uh, interesting. We might actually do that, but right now, right now, I think I need to look around a bit and rest. Lord Protector, what is? That dueling sword. Wow. This plus two dueling sword refuses to attack the one once its wearer's sword to protect, imposing a minus five penalty to attack rolls against friendly targets. How much am I doing now? Well, I'm tired. Let's rest first. All according to plan. Oh. Let's rest first and then figure out what the real stat is. Okay. So I am currently eleven to eighteen. Uh, what? No. Oh. Well, to 19. So it's just that it gives... Minus win loyal. But this is good. This is good. We are fine with this. We are absolutely fine with this. Let's do it. You. I want to store you. I have no idea why I am storing those wards. Oh, that we can sell. These we will keep just for a while. And let's see. I saw someone. Storyteller. The man standing before you resembles an elf, but a very old one. His face is wrinkled and his beard is as white as mountain snow. The man seems to be completely blind. The old man stares past you with unseeing eyes. He seems to be consumed in his thoughts. He mutters, mutters a soft melody, weighing back and forth slightly to its rhythm. The man shudders briefly and stops singing. His mouth opens and closes a few times, bringing to mind a fish brought ashore. Ah, who is there? Is that you, your grace? Who are you? I am an elf from Kyonin. My name is not important. I am the storyteller. Collector of stories, I collect unknown legends of ancient times. Long ago I was a smith in Kuoning. The fire of the forge has burned out my eyes, but I am grateful for it. If I could see, I would yet forge suits of armor for Ladaras for Yadaras gods. Instead I have stepped on the path of an adventurer and caterer of ancient legends. Many peoples are long dead, their homes crumbled to dust, and their bodies turned to ash. Only legends can still tell us of their triumphs and defeats, their joys and fears. I would be so interested to hear the stories told about us after our demise. 
I have always been drawn to the stolen lands where countless expeditions, armies and even kingdoms have met their untimely ends. When I learned of the new barony being founded in the heart of these lands, I knew I wanted to be part of its story, so I made the journey here. Are you really an elf? Do other elves age like you have? A common question, despite my unusual looks, I am an elf. And an old one, yes. Perhaps older than any other elf of Kyoni. However, I doubt my age alone is responsible for my appearance. I keep the stories of many people and races, some forever gone from the face of Galarian, but they live on in my memory and my heart. Where I accept a new story, I lock it within myself, bearing the weight of its words and the emotions they invoke. Sometimes I think that I probably should have died long ago, but some incom incomprehensible force is keeping me alive and granting me the ability to continue my quest to gather stories. Be it divine power or fell curse, I am grateful either way. How could you tell it was me? The old man smiles slightly. It is not so hard to recognize a ruler by the way he walks. No one in here, here steps as confidently as you, your grace. Really? Because I'm pretty out of the place thinking that these guys put all of this together so fast. Alright, would you get to trade stories with me? I am a collector, not a trader. If I share a story with, with you, you receive the power to pass it further. Dancing or embellishing it, whether willingly or not. Can I be certain you will keep my stories intact in their absolute purity? No, I do not think so. At least not yet. These legends are the most precious valuables of this world, the last remnants of ancient tribes. They are beacons illuminating the way to the past, allowing us to meet generations long gone. I cannot let their light fade. The path to the past must not be lost. But I can offer you deal, your grace. If on your journeys you discover items that come from Eros past, bring them to me. And if my eyes can see the stories that release Relix holds, I will gladly share them with you. And if you find all the pieces of any ancient artifacts, I can even recall my smithing kills to unite them and restore their power. Remind, okay. I need a wise advisor at my court. Would you like to serve me in matters of state? Thank you for your words. I am unlikely to be able to interpret my intricacies of the political world or the affairs of the treasury, but my advice regarding the magic of the arts would be useful to any ruler. I'll leave you to your legends till we meet again. Wow. Hello, my savior. You asked if we'd meet again, and here I am. Hello. I see your fate has changed since last we met. Now you are the ruler who will determine the destiny of these lands. I am their living heart, the whisper of the wind, the strength of rivers, the luxuriant growth of the meadows. Do you wish to touch this power? I will show you a place where we can finally meet in flesh, you and I. Deep in the woods, there is an old mossy ruins long abandoned, nearly swallowed by the thicket. There is an old tree growing among the stones in the yard, which I remember as a seed. A shadow under its green crown I call my verdant chambers. Visit me there, my lord. And come alone. A nymph's reward awaits you. Okay. 
I was happy to help. I'll see you soon in the Verdant Chambers. So long. I will await you there, as the ground waits for spring under the heavy winter snows.